The geometry of the solver region in the propagation direction x is determined by x min and the group spans. The geometry in the transverse directions y and z are specified directly by their center and span or min and max values. The cell group definition table contains the list of cell groups and we will cover how to set this up in the following unit. Number of cell groups determines the number of rows of the cell group definition table. If allow custom eigensolver settings is unchecked, the number of modes solved for in each cell will be based on the number of modes for all cell groups setting. If the display cells option is selected, this will show cells outlined in orange in the display ports. Otherwise, only cell groups will be outlined in orange. Energy conservation sets boundary conditions for cell interfaces. When none is selected, no energy conservation is applied, and the interface S matrix calculation solves for a result with the lowest field discontinuity at the interfaces. Make passive ensures no gain at the interface and is the default setting. Conserve energy enforces energy conservation at all cell interfaces, allowing no gain or loss. Energy conservation will perturb the S matrix to either force no gain or no gain and no loss. So it comes at the expense of making the field profile smooth and continuous. If you're interested in getting a good field profile, then use none. If you're more interested in getting the correct S parameters, use conserve energy. This option is typically used for devices consisting of many periodic structures, like Bragg gratings, where a small amount of gain or loss will add up over many periods. Make passive is an intermediate option, and it is the default.